So right now you're at a Repticon Reptile Show where people come around from all over different areas and they, they sell their animals, they share their animals, their stories, their experiences, and it brings a lot of people that's in this industry and hobby together. We're dealing as a hobbyist and a breeder for about 16, 17 years. It's a creativity-based type thing. You, you can take different colors and patterns when you're breeding them and make things that people haven't seen before. Breeders like me, for example, we talk to the customer and we let them know what they're getting themselves into. We ask good questions to know if they're getting into it. And to be totally honest, the, the, the way people act with them now, as opposed to when I asked them the same questions 10 years ago, has changed so much in a positive way. You know, in my opinion, exotic species get a very bad rap. They, they, make, they make a great news story and it's usually overblown. In, in other words, it's a great thing that people do and there might be a couple irresponsible people. However, that gets portrayed that it's a whole hob, everyone in the hobby or the whole entire industry is like that. And, and the things that are, for example, they're Burmese, you know, it, it makes such a good news story when there's a lot of other problems that are way worse that don't get anything because what beats a killer snake, you know? And, and even that's taken out of proportion. And some of the specials you see and stuff like that, the science behind it really doesn't make any sense. But yet still, to demonize it makes a great story. So for the press, why not?